Hello there, Sherman, Leave a Legacy, episode number 20, still focusing on the Titanic series. May their lives be an example of what not to do. And so what number two here we're going to focus in on in the Titanic series is what I call the, the spend too much. So it's the entrepreneur that has a couple good clients that, that sign on board and they have really good revenue for a couple months. And what they do is they end up spending like those two two months of revenue are going to continue to keep coming in. So they end up uh, buying a new car. They end up buying a lot of you know new furniture for the office, the new gadgets, um, and they they call them investments. And in reality, the problem is is that they end up spending as if they're going to continue to make that. And then fast forward five months later, that, that income isn't coming in and they've totally spent themselves out of the business. Um, a big key phrase here that you need to basically adhere to as an entrepreneur the first three to five years is delayed gratification. Even if you hit it right out of the park that first year, the first several months, what you want to do is you want to put that money aside and have a look at adding in staff. Take care of all those things or the, and, that, and that staff person would help take care of all those small little details that really aren't your skill set, really weaknesses of yours in order to really propel you to focus on those vital few that's really going to drive the business to the next level. And so as you have that delayed gratification where you're saying, hey, I want the new car, I want the new house, I want those other things, but I'm going to push it off until I have the right processes and system and staff in place in order for me to really grow this business to the level that, I'm, that, I, that, I, that I desire. And so as you avoid um, being uh, a total spender, you're going to be able to, to, to pull that in, uh, pull those reins in. Um, oftentimes you find that um, if people were to just pay themselves a set salary, so saying, hey, um, as an entrepreneur, no matter what business comes in, I'm going to pay myself a thousand bucks a month or two thousand bucks a month, whatever that number is. Then anytime they have big months, they just set that money aside for any kind of lean months. And that's how you basically help um, ride that up and down roller coaster of money in, money out. So for you, as you think about some of these Titanic series, do you have um, entrepreneurs you know that failed out based on themselves? Have a great day.